Scientists and astronomers never imagined that an alien invader from another planet would boldly enter our solar system so soon. But Oumuamua has surprised everyone. Initially identified by some as an alien spacecraft, Oumuamua tumbled into our solar system in October 2017, posing a complex puzzle for many astronomers and prompting them to engage in a battle of guesses. Just when everyone seemed to be recovering from its early appearance, Oumuamua has shockingly returned. Elon Musk is convinced that it is not alone. The question arises, why is this strange visitor back? And what does it mean for humanity? Keep watching to find out. On October 19, 2017, the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System captured the infinite expanse of space as Oumuamua navigated through it. The PanStars-1 telescope, funded by NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations Program and belonging to the University of Hawaii, played a crucial role. Equipped with the world's largest astronomical camera, this telescope monitors the skies for any movement or change in brightness, including potential threats like asteroids and comets. While diligently performing its duty, the sharp lenses of the PanStars-1 telescope kept Oumuamua in view as it explored the new environment of our solar system. Astronomers had theorized about the existence of interstellar objects like Oumuamua for a long time, but the arrival of this strange visitor provided direct evidence. Thomas Zerbichin, an associate administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington, emphasized this breakthrough. In November 2017, he stated, For decades, we've theorized that such interstellar objects are out there, and now, for the first time, we have direct evidence they exist. Moving at an incredible speed of about 25,000 miles per hour, 40,000 kilometers per hour, Oumuamua was faster than other known space objects in our solar system. However, the most intriguing part was yet to be revealed. On September 9, 2017, Oumuamua successfully slingshot past the sun at an astonishing speed of 196,000 miles per hour, equivalent to 285,000 feet per second, 873 kilometers per second. This remarkable speed raised numerous questions and, had it not been observed firsthand, might have sparked doubts. The global scientific community scrambled to investigate Oumuamua's orbit, brightness, and color after its initial sighting. Even YESO's very large telescope in Chile joined the telescopic investigation battle. As researchers worldwide examined Oumuamua, they gradually uncovered its strange characteristics. The SETI Institute astronomers began searching for any radio transmission from the object, named Oumuamua, of Hawaiian origin meaning visitor from afar. This strange interstellar space object did not arrive with a name written on it. Astronomers bestowed the name based on its distant origin. Telescopic details revealed Oumuamua's peculiar appearance, an elongated, rocky, cigar-shaped object with a reddish hue. It measured about a quarter of a mile, 400 meters, long, approximately 4 kilometers or 6,437 meters. Its elongated shape, roughly 10 times longer than its width, stood out among the predominantly spherical space objects in our solar system adding to the mystery surrounding Oumuamua's identity. Oumuamua possessed several unique attributes that intrigued astronomers and scientists. Initially observed as a rocky interstellar space object, its exceptional speed was one of the first remarkable features. When it slingshot past the sun, its velocity reached levels previously seen only in fictional movies, capturing the attention of the scientific community. However, its speed wasn't the only anomaly. Upon closer examination, scientists noticed that Oumuamua seemed unaffected by the sun's gravitational pull, displaying what appeared to be a non-gravitational acceleration. This behavior, defying the laws of gravity, led to a slight deviation in its trajectory and an increase in speed, leaving scientists puzzled about the force responsible for this phenomenon. In terms of its shape, Oumuamua was not only unusually elongated, but also substantial in size, measuring around 880 yards long and 260 feet tall. Furthermore, it exhibited a peculiar pattern of illumination, transitioning from dramatic brightness to dimness every 7.3 hours, indicating tumbling and spinning motion around its short axis. Remarkably, 
This tumbling was possible due to its durable material composition, unlike typical comets. The dark red color of Oumuamua, akin to several moons in the outer solar system, hinted at possible radiation damage to organic ice or the presence of iron. These unique characteristics combined to make Oumuamua a fascinating subject for further study, prompting Elon Musk to suggest that they could provide insights into life in other star systems. Despite these revelations, the question of Oumuamua's origin remained unresolved. Initially thought to have originated from Vega, recent trajectory modifications have cast doubt on this theory. Now, attention is shifting to the possibility that Oumuamua originated from elsewhere in the galaxy, potentially orbiting for billions of years or traveling through numerous star systems over hundreds of thousands of years to reach our solar system. Considering the vast age and size of our galaxy, Oumuamua's journey, though lengthy, is just a fraction of the cosmic timeline. The mystery of its origin continues to captivate scientists and astronomers, making it one of the most significant questions of this century. Amidst its long journey through space, astronomers believe that Oumuamua may be encountering a new star system for the first time, evidenced by its movement past the Sun at a speed similar to nearby stars. But where did Oumuamua come from? To answer this question, astronomers traced Oumuamua's trajectory back to before it entered our solar system. Corin Baylor-Jones of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy compared Oumuamua's path with the positions of approximately 7 million stars tracked by the Gaia spacecraft. Through rigorous analysis, four candidates emerged whose paths closely overlapped with Oumuamua's rewound track. However, determining Oumuamua's exact origin proved challenging. Elon Musk noted that Oumuamua's trajectory led to a region between 1 to 2 cloud radius or 100 to 200 astronomical units, with encounter velocities ranging from 6 to 16 miles per hour for each potential home. Some scientists speculated that Oumuamua could be a planetesimal expelled during a planet's formation, but its high ejection velocity suggests alternative explanations, such as originating from a binary star system. Despite these investigations, None of the four candidates for Oumuamua's origin are binary stars, leaving astronomers with unanswered questions. However, hope remains that future releases of Gaia data will provide more accurate insights into Oumuamua's origin. Regardless of its origin, the question remains, what type of interstellar object is Oumuamua? Some astronomers view it as a wandering asteroid while others, like Garrett Levine of Yale University, suggest it could be ice fragments ejected from distant planetary disks resembling comets as they enter our solar system. However, Oumuamua's characteristics defy conventional expectations of interstellar debris, raising doubts about its classification. While it may be a genuine example of interstellar debris, its unconventional appearance challenges astronomers' initial assumptions. Thus, Oumuamua's true nature as interstellar debris may differ from the traditional comet-like description, prompting further exploration and re-evaluation of our understanding of such objects. The peculiar appearance of Oumuamua raises questions about its true nature. Is it merely interstellar debris, or does it hold more extraordinary secrets? Evidence suggests that Oumuamua is not just an ordinary fragment of a destroyed planet. One compelling reason is its non-gravitational acceleration, which defies conventional explanations. But let's pause here for now. As the story unfolds, the quest to classify, Oumuamua continues, and scientists have proposed even more mind-boggling speculations. Some suggest it might be an interstellar comet or asteroid, sparking heated debates among experts. Yet the plot thickens as renowned astronomers like Avi Loeb boldly claim that Oumuamua is something far more astonishing, a deliberately constructed spacecraft from an extraterrestrial civilization journeying to our solar system to study us. But how plausible is this? Before delving into such groundbreaking claims, let's first address the ongoing debate among astronomers and scientists. Some argue that Oumuamua resembles an interstellar comet, while others lean toward it being an interstellar asteroid. So, is Oumuamua an asteroid, a comet, or something even more extraordinary? Let's examine the arguments for each possibility. A comet, typically composed of frozen gases, rocks, and dust, orbits the sun and forms a tail or coma when heated due to its volatile composition. 
However, Oumuamua lacks any visible signs of such emissions. It also displays a higher reflectivity than typical comets, suggesting a different thermal composition. On the other hand, asteroids are rocky bodies found in various shapes and sizes. However, Oumuamua's elongated shape sets it apart from conventional asteroids, and its non-gravitational acceleration contradicts typical asteroid behavior. So, where does that leave us? With traditional classifications failing to fully explain Oumuamua's characteristics, some scientists propose the daring possibility that it's an alien spacecraft. This theory gains traction with prominent figures like Avi Loeb and even garners attention from the Pentagon UFO office hinting at the existence of extraterrestrial technology within our solar system. Certainly, let's delve deeper into the details surrounding Oumuamua's classification and the various hypotheses proposed by astronomers. Comets, characterized by their composition of frozen gases, rocks, and dust, are known to exhibit visible signs of activity when heated by the sun. This activity includes the formation of a glowing tail or coma caused by the vaporization of volatile materials. However, Oumuamua displayed none of these typical comet characteristics. Observations revealed no gas or dust being expelled from Oumuamua, ruling out the possibility of it being a conventional comet. Even the absence of CN gas, which is commonly observed in comets during water expulsion, further differentiated Oumuamua from typical cometary behavior. Additionally, comets are known to contain a significant amount of water, which is visibly expelled due to solar heating yet Oumuamua did not exhibit such traits. Furthermore, Oumuamua's reflectivity, measured to be around 10%, exceeded the typical reflectivity of comets, which is approximately 4%. This discrepancy in reflectivity suggests a different thermal composition for Oumuamua compared to conventional comets. On the other hand, asteroids, rocky bodies orbiting the sun, also failed to fully explain Oumuamua's properties. While asteroids come in various sizes and shapes, their predominant shape is generally spherical, unlike Oumuamua's elongated form. Additionally, asteroids do not typically exhibit the non-gravitational acceleration observed in Oumuamua's trajectory. Given the limitations of traditional classifications, some astronomers, notably Avi Loeb of Harvard, have proposed a provocative theory. Oumuamua could be an alien spacecraft. This hypothesis challenges conventional scientific thinking, but gains traction among those exploring alternative explanations for Oumuamua's unusual characteristics. Even the chief of the Pentagon UFO office has acknowledged the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement, sparking further speculation about Oumuamua's origin and purpose. As the debate continues, Oumuamua remains a captivating enigma, defying easy categorization and prompting scientists to reconsider their understanding of interstellar objects. Further research and observation may provide additional insights into Oumuamua's true nature and origins.